Yeah, this is my mistake to show my Facebook there. <laughs> well, where, where did that bit out? So that now, is, like I said from before, player, you see, these were shown here. The bag, the bag will contain every single object in the game. And before that, I remembered I supposed to add a few more things into this. We'll need the public texture 2D icon and public game object there. I just got player really. Because we need we need the icon and the game object. Yeah, this is my mistake to show my Facebook there. <laughs> Well, where, where did that bit out? So that now, like I said from before, player, you see, these were shown here. The bag, the bag will contain every single object in the game. And before that, I remembered I supposed to add a few more things into this. We'll need the public texture 2D icon and public game object there. I just got player really. Because we need, we need the icon and the game object. So we save this. It's from before, like I said. First, I'll show an image. So if you have right size of one here, you see you get the name, description, ID, icon, player, type, weapon. The reason I'm using this type thingy here is, is because we go the ID system. So each game object got to have an ID added to it using the tag. Like already added through here, four IDs. You can add like two hundred. That wouldn't be a problem. I wonder if I could do two thousand. So you have two thousand game objects in the game using this system. <laughs> Shouldn't really have that many anyway. <laughs> well, you have few objects here. Yeah, I know. One's called Death. One's called Op. One's called Obama. One's called Test. Yeah, sorry for the messed up names, I just need a few quick names, and these came out quickly. So, so like I said, inventory. Before I said on, why didn't we do the, why isn't these both, er, both arrays if you think I want to list an item? Because an array needs a list of, like a number to start with, so when you start you have to write six of them, but inventory list doesn't need to be the number, you can add uh, take away no problem and it's easier to add or remove stuff from a list compared to an array first of all thing is we had to even thought we wrote this here the inventory is still not added so at the awake function we'll write inventory is equal to new list items then we have to add this here for it to work the reason we do this is we need it to be initialized, like like says here in the association. If you want to do it, you see sometimes get like this here. Wait, there's there's a version of this right here. I think some of you might remember if you're new to this. Don't do it like this. If you do it like this, it'll only work in this scope here, the awake scope. So if you want to modify an update version, it'll say not accessible because this. When you add this bit here, it only works here. So, if you want it to work in different scripts and stuff, just do it like this. Okay. And let's see. Say, if you want any errors really. Okay, that's fine. Let's think. Now, we should really do a thing on the new. We're going to use a draggable window thing. You understand when you see really. Uh, void, don't forget that the void. Bad things is when you do a video, you forget everything you're supposed to do. As I remember, there'll be a few more stuff in here I'm supposed to add. Back doesn't have to be initialized, because like I said before, we got to create the back here. So let's say we have 20 game objects, we got to do it all here so we don't have to do it from the script. It'd be easier to do it like that. So, first of all, we need a custom window. Be easier to show off the web. I got to modify that. Just delete it off straight away. And that's where that was. So we have Unity on GU uh, GU window. 
There's a few bugs out before, but I fixed them. So we have the window here. Basically, first of all, you need this one here. Public Rect Window X. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it private. So I can change it from the script, because if it's public, you can't change it in the script. It'll just stay the same. So we need a private. Like I said, if you, if you think I'm missing something, don't worry. I'll end up adding it later on. Right. Rec is the size dimension for GUs, if you wonder what that is. Rec will equal to new window. New Rec, sorry. So I'll show you basically, look. This is the X, Y, so which position. Basically, Unity's window things like a graph. This is the Y, it goes downwards, this is the X. So 0, 0 will be right here. If you wanted to add 20 by y, it'll go down here by x. So it will be 0 slash slur. See as it says here, float left, float top. Next thing will be the width. So we want it to be... Right now we'll change it later on, but basically for quick chest, we want it to be like this. And now on void in view, we'll see if we need anything else. We need the window right. You see the same name here. Window right is equal to GUI window. I'm showing it from there as well, so you, you guys could see it if I get any mistakes. At least you guys can fix it. So first of all, we need to int ID for the window. So that be a zero. This, this is our first window. Then we need the rect client. Rect client will be the window rect because of the size. And then you need the windows function. And that'll be do my window as you see here. I'll explain this in a second. First, do my window is this here. I'll explain, don't worry. We call it do my window. And this will be the text I'll be showing. So we call it eventually. Like here. So we have a new void widget. We have void. Yeah. Uh, if you're wondering why it's void, on functions, when you add a void, it has no return. So it's like a, so it just does something. It doesn't have to return anything. So do my window. The reason it's like this, I'll show you quickly right now just to do this bit here, is think it basically like this. This unit, I think this has screen one. What you see here, the game view is screen one. And on GUI, when you add it on GUI, think that's a screen two in the game view. So this is screen one, normal game, on GUI is screen two. But when you, when you do this, you'll think this has an extra screen, like screen three. It doesn't, this has nothing to do with the on, on, on screen 2. So, only thing that will be shown is the window. So, if you want to add buttons and stuff in the window, it'll be through here. Because, it'll be, I'll show you, show you a few examples, so you understand in a minute. So, in the int, window id. So if if you write a button here in, in on GUI, it'll show it there. But if you write a button here, it'll follow the window. So it's like a ex external thing, like the window's a new screen and everything's on the window. Yeah, window ID. So this goes zero in through here. Just shows which ID it is. So I'll do a quick example here. GUI dot button. We need a new rec position. Never before, if you know GUI, when you choose a position, you used to choose it from screen one from here. But now, how do you put this thing back down? But now, you don't do it like that. You do it from here. How should I explain it? I'll do this one now. 
won't follow the screen one or we follow the window itself. You understand basically. So if I put zero slash zero slash by sixty four slash sixty four go on to text. I'll be changing this stuff quickly, just this is a quick example to show you how it is. Okay. Then you go into game and play. See? This is part of this. No, nope, this this thing is part of this thing. So if if I made this draggable, this will be following this. It won't be following this area, the screen one. It's quite hard to understand right now, but later on be easable. First of all, let's make this window draggable. Which one was it? Window drag window. So basically, what we want is this bit here. This thing makes it drag. But first of all, the position we want to start it as zero zero. So in game would be that you know zero zero. Then we want to. We don't want to. The thing is, if you make it by six hundred six hundred, you can click on any side of the window and drag it. But when you have a scroll and stuff, it's a bit buggy, so I'm going to make it top bit drag well. I'll quickly make it by 600 by 600 just to show you guys what I mean. I'm going to errors. I did do four arguments. One, two, three, four. I think I forgot something. Now we look for drag. Or arguments. Wait. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot the new X, sorry. My mistake. Right. You, you, you always forget this things, really. I'll show you what it means when you put 600 600. See? I hold it from here, I hold on the mouse, it's draggable. I hold it down here, it's draggable. Now if I, this is the width, this is the height, remember this bit's the height, so if I put this 100, this bit's draggable, but this bit, see, will be dragged, only the top bits. I only want this bit here, the top, the small top bit to be draggable, not rest of them, because of course it'll be of a bug with the scroll. So we put 20, save. If you're wondering how we got add objects to range of stuff, don't worry. I just want to do dry bit quickly. Because this this will be quicker how to dry. So first of all, we need to recast. Now now I did the drag window. I'm gonna add the buttons and stuff later. I just want to do the recast bit quickly. So I have a private recast called hit. Then I think we'll need an Private way. Always, I'm always messed up on the way bits. So I have a way equal to. I think I think it was input dot camera. No, it would be camera. Camera. Oh, dot camera. No, what was that? Oh, I didn't do anything. Main dot screen viewport point way. So this this basically is gonna spawn that way at the position you want. So it's gonna be input dot mask position. Cause the way I did for this is gonna be like from from here. Basically, click one of these. So yeah. No, uh, not way hard. I think we need a private way called there. Let's see if we can ask. No, no, so far. So if you get if raid casts. Man, 
have to first hit the race cast. First, we'll get input dot get button down. Like this will only make it work once. We we'll write fire one. So basically, what this does is when you click once, this will only work once. So if you click on click once, this if input will activate. First, we'll need to recast hit collector. We'll do recast. Recast hit. Uh, we don't physically want to fly the one. Yeah, it's, as you see here. What? I want it to see sharp. Cool. Yeah, no. Let's see if the physics one contains what I want. Yeah, this one's one. Physics raycast. Let's see if this one is the one I'm looking for. Sorry, I'm not the best at the raycast bits. So now if right. ray ray yeah. So print hit something raycast. So we get the ray position. Doesn't really matter how long you go do it for. I put 20 because it's a short object I have. Print. Let's see if this was the one. Yeah, I just installed it's a new build PC and I installed the Windows on there. It's only like a few days, I'm just a bit too lazy to put the key in there. That thing key to get working. Because I'm gonna upgrade to Windows 8 soon. I think about a few weeks get Windows 8. So we have. Ah, and now I remember why we did hits. This isn't really one I wanted. Let's see if it works. No, this isn't, isn't one, sorry. Basically, the one I wanted was. Yeah, this one's the one I want. Oh, sorry, if I put it open. Basically. You need to cry the one. I knew it was quite the one, I was just. Is it the big. No, dot ray cast. So you want the ray here, slash the hit, and slash the distance. That'd be 20. Yeah, 20 distance. And then we'll print the object that'll be hitting. Print. Collider, no, it's hat dot collider dot game object. So this way we'll know which game object is hitting. And already from before, ah, oh, go ahead. Let's find that was my error. Might be this bugger here. No oh, wait. Did I miss something here? Was it something wrong with what I did? Right. God, I hate being on this keyboard. Sorry for that one. Okay, not sure. What do we mean to build the icons? Well, that's under it. You change your way out. Recast it. So about this big bug here. It's it should be C sharp really. Recast. Let's see. Oh, C sharp here. At least you understand. We all have these problems, really. <laughs> Isn't that small C sharp version? Yeah, break us hit hit. So we do physics break us. 
that seems a lot more better. Way. Yeah, so it's a physical request, so if I did it from big mystic one. Usually have stuff like this. Music dots. Ray casts. So basically, what we need is the ray here. Slash head. Slash 20. This should work now. Oh, man, what's wrong this time? What do you mean? I got a bug here. If I get this bit here, not. You know what? I'll find out what support. I'll be. I'll think I can 